against the motion. I think there is no ambiguity in this matter. The subject matter of this debate violates the constitutionally guaranteed fundamental right of free speech. The subject matter of this debate is day after day taking hundreds of movies into its habit. And the subject matter of this debate is censorship. Now let me tell you why I am against the idea of censorship in the Indian cinema. You see in a country called India, let me give you a political, a political perspective first. Nowadays, the politicians are trying to stub their toe into every industry. The recent movie of Urta Panja, which came out, the censor board of, in, uh, the censor board of India, of Hollywood, said that Anura Kashyap had taken money from, from the RMRP party to degrade Punjab. And this was absolutely, this comment was absolutely baseless. You see, the politicians of this country don't have the will to change things. If a, if a storm strikes a ship, the sailor can take charge and save it. But if the sailor lacks the ability to do so, then no one can save that ship. Same is the case with India and its politicians. Let me talk about this man called Tehlaj Nehlani. When Urta Punjab came out, there were 89 cuts in that movie. And the same person, the same director came out with a movie called Arka Gola, which, which was based on scenes which were not to be sh uh, shown to the younger generation in, uh, in a similar manner. And therefore, even that movie was not supposed to go untouched. Let us speak of a movie called Dumb Maru Dham. Even that movie had several references to drugs. But in spite of that, that movie also went untouched. You speak of the name, they said they had problem with the mention of the word Punjab and drugs in the same breath. Speak of a movie called Go Goa God. Even in that movie, there were several references to drugs and even Goa was mentioned. So in that case, that movie did not go, uh, no one tried to censor that movie. So why are these people trying to throw sanskar over the younger generation of India? Nowhere in the world would you see such an extent of censorship being imposed on movies. And today I feel when most of the developed countries of the world are not imposing this extent of censorship on movies, I think it would only be a sham job by amateur standards if politicians of this country try to thorn sanskar on the younger generation of today. Let's speak of a movie called, uh, called Urta Punjab. What if I tell you that in Punjab, 3.5 lakh people are addicts of heroin. Well, 0.6 lakh people are, uh, are addicts of cocaine and what if I tell you that two-thirds of all the rural house, households of Punjab have at least one drug addict. I think this is something which most of the people of the, of the country need to know and these movies are educating the people of the country and therefore they don't need to be censored. I want to urge that half of India's population is under 25. We're an amazingly young nation. We have a youthful and dynamic population ready to work and change the world. But there's only one question that all of us must ask, uh, must ask ourselves. Does Bollywood and the government have the ability to equip our people so that we can take advantage of this youthfulness? Thank you.